He said, Who art thou, O great mountain? He said, Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. He said, And he shall bring forth the headstone thereof, with shoutings, cryings, grace, grace unto it. So the scripture was saying that the way that Zerubbabel will make progress, the way that he will bring forth the headstone, and make progress in the building he was executing was by the shoutings of grace grace to it so the way you make progress in life is by the operation of grace in your life by the operation of grace in your in your academics you make progress by the operation of grace in your in your ministry you make progress by the operation of grace in your business you make progress in your career you make progress in your relationship you make progress <laughs> Hello everybody, good evening, good evening, yeah, welcome back to our channel, this is the Ogonaya Advocates and want to greatly appreciate you for being there every step of the way, you know, um, we are here because you are always available and want to say God bless you and thank you for being there. Um, it's another time of prayer, you know, we come together every Saturday by 10 p.m. GMT plus one and then we come to um, interact with Elohim we come to interact with God every interface we make with divinity changes our lives do you understand every interface be it via the word be it via prayer be it via communion be it via anything but any interface that humanity makes with divinity leaves humanity transformed he says we all with unveiled faces with open faces say we are beholding his glory do you understand we are we are beholding his glory as in a mirror and then we are transformed we are metamorphosed into the same image even by the spirit of god so every interface that we make with divinity changes our lives and remember that every transformation you need starts from within do you understand so you may be wondering oh i've been praying i've been praying i've been praying there seems to be no change on the outside i want to tell you that you should not give up because sometimes changes or most of the times changes start from within you know lasting changes start from within so as you are engaging god as you are praying as you are studying the world things are changing on your inside and very soon as the scripture would put it the clouds will be full of rain and then it will um open up upon the earth do you understand so i'm here to encourage someone you are at the verge of giving up you are the, you are like oh this thing is not working i want to tell you it is working you just need to keep on loading your clouds with water you keep on pumping in water into your clouds you keep on praying you keep on fasting you keep on studying the world and then things are happening on the inside and at the fullness of time it will be made manifest on the outside do you understand so even jesus you know if you were were if you are um anna the, the prophetess the scripture said that she continued to pray waiting for consolation of israel she prayed for about is it 80 years now or thereabouts you know from the point that her husband died she remained in the temple praying and fasting and waiting for the consolation of israel so do you understand so she was doing something in the spirit in the physical it did not as, it seem as though anything was happening but the scripture says that at the fullness of time you know the things that she was doing in the spirit was made manifest said the world became flesh and dwelt amongst us do you understand so anna the prophetess was one of the persons that bettered jesus <laughs> you, you are you are wondering oh i thought mary mary is the mother of true mary is the mother of jesus but the spiritual parents of jesus is anna the prophetess and um simon sorry simeon do you understand? these were the people that bettered jesus in the spirit because they kept on interceding they kept on putting their expectations on god they they, they kept on doing spiritual things that was instrumental to the breathing of jesus so the results you are seeing in your life today you may not be the one that pioneered them it may be your, your your mom you may be your dad oh these people have been laboring over your life do you understand so spiritual things are are, are, are not as physical things 
so but what what am i trying to say i'm trying to say that you should be um be persistent don't allow the devil to mess up your mind and you are like oh this thing is not working i'm not doing again i will i will stop praying of course we are still going to church but you have stopped doing the things that you know you've been doing you you've stopped believing in the in the in the in the tools that god has given us for operation do you understand so that's where the enemy wants to get you to talking about um persistence in prayer you you you'll be talking about men like um elijah you'll be talking about men like jacob you know elijah was on that mount and the scripture said that he prayed the first time he sent his servant go and check see if there is any evidence of my prayer the servant went came back and said there is nothing there is nothing he, he prayed again go and check the servant went checked came back there is nothing Third time, nothing. Fourth time, nothing. Fifth, talk about a man that that had that that had his mind locked up. A man that has said, "I will never let you go until this thing is made manifest." A man that had that has that has seen something in the spirit because prayer is first of all seen. First, first of all, you have to you have to breath you have to have you have to be pregnant first before you breath something. Do you understand? If you are not pregnant and you come to the place of prayer. There will, there will be nothing to bet and you'll easily give up so first of all you have to 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 get pregnant get pregnant with a vision you know study the word of god till you are pregnant then prayer is the betting tool so elijah saw something in the spirit he was already pregnant with rain he already heard the word of god he he already you know saw that god wanted to bring rain so he knew what he was engaging so he he kept on betting he kept on praying he kept on praying until there was the betting of that which was inside until there was the betting of that which he had seen do you understand so you must learn persistence in prayer it was jacob that said i will not let you go until you bless me so that should be your 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 state your standpoint as a believer he said i have set my face like a flint i know i will not be ashamed i have set my face like a flint i will not change i will not waver i will not be here today and be here tomorrow that's you know those kind of people are the people that god was talking about in james chapter 1 and verse 5 he says you know let them not think that they will get anything he said if you if you doubt you are like the wavy sea you are like the waves of the waters you are here today you are there tomorrow if god wants to bless you here you are no more there you are now here <laughs> do you understand so that's a that's more like a funny picture of what that scripture is saying so you are like the wave you are moving up and down so god cannot you know god cannot lock in your coordinates and send the blessing so you need to stay at the point so that god can lock in your coordinates and send your blessing and it will get to you do you understand so they, they, they my emphasis tonight is that you should not give in you should not give up brother you should not give up you should hold on to the horns of the altar regardless of your position regardless of your 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 state make sure that you maintain your posture regardless of your position maintain your posture regardless of your position in life regardless of the level you are regardless of your circumstance always maintain the posture of prayer that's the point do you understand so tonight we have come again before god and we are going to be in, in, in um, engaging god for grace you know when we talk about grace we are talking about everything that jesus has made available everything that is available to us is made available by grace so everything that we do in life is propelled by grace. He said, for you are saved by grace through faith. So it means that grace is the is the foundational element. Apostle Paul speaking in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. He says, I am what I am by the grace of God. So whatever you seek to, to be will be by the grace of God. So even though Apostle Paul did not deny that he labored, he said, for I have labored more abundantly than other apostles. He said, but he was quick to add, yet not I, but grace, the grace that was at work in me. Do you understand? So if you take away grace, you can labor, but your results will not be the same with the man that is laboring under grace. So that's, that, that will be our prayer focus for tonight. But as, as, um, as you know our manner is we are going to be worshiping god for some time we are going to be allowing our hearts to you know to be to rise up in exaltation of god to rise up in deep honor and 
thanksgiving to our Lord and our Savior. We are going to be saying, Lord, we thank you for having brought us thus far. <laughs> Hey, Jesus. God is looking for men that are grateful. <laughs> the people that will walk with God for a great distance are people that have mastered the act of gratitude. People that are always grateful. Because if you want to go far with God, you must have a grateful heart. You must have a heart of thanksgiving. You know, Jesus healed ten lepers and one came back and he asked him, is it only one? Are there not ten that were healed? Where are the nine? It means that he was expecting them to return in thanksgiving because when you return in thanksgiving you are actually returning the glory to God. You are saying the results I have is not by the works of my hands. It's not by my labor. It's by your grace. It's by your mercy is by your making and you are saying i return the glory so can you just lift up your 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 hearts tonight and lift up your hands unto your savior and say lord i acknowledge you as my god i acknowledge you as the doer i acknowledge that everything i have i have received everything i have i have received from you i have received from above i have received from the father of lies in whom there is no variability in whom there is no shadow in Stunning. Everything I have received have come from you, Father. And I acknowledge you tonight. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. Oh, who is there like you? No one else like you. So I lift up my voice in worship. I lift up my hands and give you the praise. Oh, Jesus, we give you the glory. Go ahead. Uh, he says, My soul doth magnify the Lord. Uh, let everything within me rise in worship. Uh, let everything within me rise in worship. Rise in honor of the Lord. Uh, rise in worship of the Lord. Uh, oh, Jiba Baba Kaya. Na 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 momo. See it. Nene mele te bele ta. La cruz in di breton da la guia don silata. Lord, we acknowledge you tonight. Uh, we acknowledge your mercies tonight. Uh, we acknowledge your grace tonight. Uh, we acknowledge your walk on Calvary tonight. Uh, we acknowledge you tonight. Uh, oh, it is by your mercies that we are not consumed. Uh, you are faithful. You are loving. Uh, you are gracious. Uh, we thank you for life, uh, for protection, for direction, for provision, uh, for sustenance. Uh, you have been our father and we love the way that you father us. Uh, we love the way uh, that you grant us access into your presence uh, lord we, we we love the way uh, that it is not it is it's not by our works we love the way that it is not by our works because we know if it's by our works we cannot have that access we love the way that you have imputed your righteousness upon us so that we can come oh kababaning sunetela barahans yetonobriki tunetalata everything that we have received uh, oh shikambe non silefraha everything we have uh, we have received received from you and we have received from you by your grace by your mercy and this this night, uh, we say thank you, Jesus. Uh, we say thank you, Jesus. Uh, we magnify your name on high. We magnify your name on high. Yeah, manon sali breton da rahasi vrehete. Ragani anon sevele taino mama makaya da balata. In maro se breton ga balande shia tola. Regeton de breno rafalati esopreha. En to mangwani sono breto varata. In mama mambe lu compreno rabalata. Resunde pelatoha. Oh, for the healing, saha. For the break. Through uh, for the deliverance is a oh, the kind of malasile do preteha resusi give it to veletaha. Can you be specific with God tonight uh, and say for so so and so? I say thank you uh, for this and this. I say thank you. Uh, oh, recamino seletaha mene mene mama masha candelo robrana malata resila vania. Let the voice uh, let the sound of thanksgiving uh, emanate from us tonight. Uh, oh, jana mama maha. He says the fruit of your lips are uh, the sacrifice of. Praise uh, the fruit of your lips, uh, let the 
Rise unto God tonight. Uh -huh. Oh Jesus, we say thank you. Uh -huh. Mama Nziete no barande rozebereta. Ima mama mama da 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 da. Lene no jedumbre torabalata. In the name of Jesus, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. So we'll be praying for grace, and we'll be praying it from two dimensions, from two um directions. You know, the first will be an inward um um work of grace and the second will be an outward work of grace and what i mean by that is that the first will be um asking for grace for our um for living in line with the kingdom and then the second part will be asking for grace for the works of our hands for our our um our productivity in life our businesses and all of that our families and all of that so the scripture will say in the book of um hebrews chapter 12 and verse 28 or thereabout it says for we have received a kingdom that cannot be moved it says having received a kingdom that cannot be moved he said let us therefore obtain grace the grace to live according to the dictates of the kingdom the grace to live according to the 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 the, uh, um, the mandate of the kingdom. So what that scripture is saying is that the kingdom of God cannot be moved on your account. The kingdom of God cannot be moved um, because you were raped at age six, and therefore you got addicted to sex. Does not mean that the principles of the kingdom will be moved on your account. The foundation of the kingdom is unchanging, cannot be changed. Therefore, God has said, um, 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 has said that um, uh, immorality, for example, is a sin. So He cannot change that standard based on your condition, based on your circumstance. So you will not go on the day of judgment and, and tell God, "Look at what happened to me now. It was not my fault." I was raped by, by the time um, at age 6. It was not my fault that what happened to me happened to me. And then I started living an immoral life. It was not my fault, God. No. He says the kingdom of God cannot be moved. The foundation of God stands sure. It is, it, is, it is the same from beginning. It, it, it does not change with centuries. It does not change with dispensation. So you will not say, oh, we are living in, 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 in 21st century. Therefore, the principles of the kingdom will not apply to us. No, no, no. So the foundation of the kingdom is, is, is static. So what we need to do is to obtain grace with the prescription of that scripture is that we will obtain grace to be able to live in accordance to the standard of the kingdom. And that's what we'll be praying for tonight. For your life as a person, you'll be asking the Spirit of God to supply you the grace needed to live according to the dictates of the kingdom. To live according to the standards of the kingdom, that irrespective of the circumstances that come your way, irrespective of the things that has happened to you in life, that the Holy Ghost will supply grace to you to be able to maintain the standard of the kingdom. Can you just lift up your your your, your voice and begin to pray tonight and say, Lord, help my life that I will I will align to the dictates of the kingdom. I will fulfill the dictates of the kingdom oh jesus i plead for grace i plead for grace oh to be able to lift me above the circumstances i found myself in and help me to live oh jika in line with the precepts and with the standards of the kingdom that i have received in the name of jesus Lift up your voice and pray tonight. Uh -huh. We are praying for an inward work of grace uh, in our lives uh -huh. that will be expressed in the way we live, uh, in the way we talk, in the way we think, uh, in the way we do things, uh, in the way we handle our relationships. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that the Holy Ghost will supply grace. Uh -huh. Because if we do not receive grace, uh, we cannot live according to the standard of the kingdom. The standard of the kingdom is higher than human standard. He uh, says, have you, have you, he says, have you heard 
or have you been told that fornication is sin jesus said i bring you a new standard that whosoever looks upon a woman with lust has co- has committed fornication with her so jesus came to raise the bar jesus came to give us a, a higher standard as it were so the the, the 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 way to live up to the standard of the kingdom is to receive grace not to give excuses for our lives it is to receive grace and say lord it is your grace i need to be able to live according to the standards of the kingdom according to the standards of the kingdom <laughs> and tonight we cry for grace oh spirit of grace <laughs> oh that you will supply us resusi ko pekaino si le vrin so no venetaya mesusi e kwande si lo kabrotivre ania da lo cristo bre ivaratia o menunti rusieta ya gandu siete ne gando reketela merun celevrania da you will supply us a fresh supply of grace oh brizun grison di bri dos kividi kon te pretona mina kaya resun te preto velete na mana no osibilitia rekombri de veleto mene momo venia suni vili kai na mama mama e shotola rekopala tia he was daniel he was he was living in babylon but the scripture says that he declared i will not defy myself with the portion of the king's meat he understood that there was a standard he understood that the standard would not change based on his location based on the on the place he was living in based on the time he was living in so he said i will not defy myself with the meat even though i'm no more in jerusalem even though i'm living in, in a different time from 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 the time of moses he said but i understand that the kingdom of god cannot be moved and therefore i will hold myself i will not defy myself with the portion of the king's meter can you make those that that declaration can you make that declaration into your spirit in the name of jesus regardless of the time i live in regardless of the circumstance that i find myself in i will not be defied according to the grace that is at work in me i receive grace to Tonight, I receive grace tonight. I receive grace tonight. In the name of Jesus. Eka mama mama mahadi rogado bodo veleta meshana non si veretona rogada gada baha. Hey Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. You know, this is a prayer that you should continue. Do you understand? You know, what what we do with this platform is just to, you know, launch you into the place of prayer. So, um, by no means are we saying that, okay, once we are through, we are through with praying, you can continue. Do you understand? But we'll be moving to the second prayer. And we'll be praying for the works of our hands. You need grace to advance in life. The scripture speaking in the book of Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 he says who art thou O great mountain he says before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain verse 7 and verse 8 sorry he said you shall become a plain or only verse 7 rather he said who art thou O great mountain he says before Zerubbabel thou shall become a plain he said and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings crying grace grace unto it so the scripture was saying that the way that Zerubbabel will make progress the way that he will bring for the headstone and make progress in the building he was executing was by the shoutings of grace grace to it do you understand so the way you make progress in life is by the operation of grace in your life by the operation of grace in your in your academics you make progress by the operation of grace in your in your ministry you make progress by the operation of grace in your business you make progress in your career you make progress in your relationship you make progress do you understand so what we are going to be praying little wonder the, the, the scripture says that jesus is is full of grace and full of truth is it and therefore we 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 receive from him grace for grace do you understand so to fulfill our ministry to fulfill our life calling to fulfill our business to be fulfilled in life you need to receive grace 
you need to receive grace and that's what we'll be praying for tonight so apostle paul will say i am what i am by the grace of god it was not by labor even though i labored but i was laboring under grace grace was at work grace was magnifying my labor so tonight i want you to pray for grace in an aspect of your life be it in business be it in your career be it in your in your academics be it in your in your marriage in your relationship life can you say lord release grace upon me in this dimension release grace upon me in this in this aspect of my life uh, in the name of jesus so that i can move forward uh, so that i can function maximally oh jesus let grace be released upon my farmer you are in, in you are engaging in a in a in a farm worker can you release grace upon your farmer upon your crops upon your livestock you are involved in sales can you release grace upon your products le sotoko benge torosieda rosente kwande le kumbre Tola vilekia rosono me guanden don zivituan de kaila rosino me ne kainon bi kwalatea grace grace we speak grace in the name of Jesus ana mama de sieha ah de bekaido briton de rasunde vanakiana massive results massive results are productivity and a menosha kata resundi fitu kwande sigi tu vinti di gitinga no rekutu veli kaiku bele dindo rafino siye bele taino mama mahande rosu si vidi kitinku bili kiandus kibiriande reketeila kubarante rosu vini kaina by the grace of god you surmount obstacles uh, you 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 live above limitations and uh, every orchestration of hell towards you grace lifts you up uh, above those 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 um, obstructions uh, above those obstacles uh, in the name of jesus i release grace upon your life tonight upon your business upon your marriage upon your academics upon your career upon your farmland upon your products in the name of jesus let there be a fresh supply of grace a fresh supply of grace a fresh supply of grace Ayate kopedeha je kodi vetise zuzi krite la handesia. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining tonight. I want to assure you that every prayer we make, do you understand? God hears, and if He hears, He answers. So live with an expectation. Live knowing that your prayers are answered. So live expecting results from your prayers god bless you and do have a lovely night rest bye mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.